Oh, he thinks he's being sneaky. Uh, who's being sneaky? All I, all I just see is a box. I don't know what he's talking about. FYI, the name Dennis is derived from Dionysus. That is all. This means Denny's. Yo, Denny's is absolutely the domain of a god of chaos and revelry. It's true. All right, punks, listen up. Don't wear your leather jacket on hot days. You could get heat stroke. Remember, being punk is only fun when you're alive. And always wear two pairs of socks under your big leather boots. So there's nothing punk about getting blisters. And not everyone wants to rock out as hardcore as you. Always ask what other people are comfortable with. It's very punk to ask how people are feeling. And this has been Punk Responsibility. By the way, whoever shared this, activate your Windows account already. Is it too much to ask for a rival around here? A charming foe? An opponent to engage passionately in a battle of lips? I mean, where's fuck? So, who's gonna DM at my wedding? Roll for wedding vows? Oh crap, it's a nat one. Me, husband, I say nervously as I accidentally knock out the marriage efficient and somehow eat the ring. It's been scientifically proven the person reading this is the cutest and is beautiful. Show me the science you speak of. Here's a pie chart showing you how cute you are. Well, can't argue with science. God, Jesus, this heck Wendy's. I turned down my graphic settings and made a PB and J. OP, fix it. Boba actually means boobs. Wait, no, 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 to Google. Oh my God. Bitch, what the fuck? We been drinking titty tea. Candles are how we keep fires, pets. This is unnecessarily adorable. I'm gonna name mine Franklin. Snowworth me Feels pretty good. Because there are always pregnant people, the average number of skeletons in a body is higher than one. I never needed to think about this, but now I'm reblogging it, and all of you can suffer as well. You're welcome. Hey, did anyone hear the news that scientists have actually been able to figure out the most common key that old pirate shanties were singing? In my opinion, it's really interesting. Like, they found and analyzed lots and lots of sheet music that they suspect was inspired by all these old shanties. Since all the music was written by people who are believed to have been former sailors or even former pirates. And the neat part is that, statistically speaking, almost 90% of them are written in the same key. I mean, obviously, it's not confirmed 100%, but it looks like almost all pirate shanties were sang in a high C. Go to jail! Hip parkour!